So I'm going to ask a, a couple of questions now that we got from the folks in the audience. And I think that's pertinent because they're here now. First one's from Stan. Stan says, with the loss of the long-form census and disregard for scientific-based factorial evidence uh, and data, there is an increase in public policy to be based on ideology, ideology uh, rather than public good. What would your party do for sound research and scientific data to formulate public policy and plan for the future, they got rid of the census. So let's start with the NDP and we'll go around the, the horn. First to the NDP, please. The NDP has a commitment to reinstate the mandatory long form census. I worked with my church group on bringing this forward at the pro provincial and national level um, to make sure that we reinstate the census. It has had the effect of excluding vulnerable, uh, vulnerable people, excluding um, uh, remote communities, excluding uh, the poorest people from being recorded and in terms of the services that they need, the infrastructure supports that they need. And uh, we need all voices in Canada, all communities represented in Canada. We must reinstate this census. Over 800 organizations, professional organizations, church groups, um, university level organizations, uh, community groups have insisted that this should not have been scrapped. The NDP will reinstate the mandatory long form census to represent all Canadians. Very good. Thank you, Rosemary. Uh, Ramesh from the Liberals, I'm going to ask you, we have not yet heard from you, so I want to hear from you. Where is your stance, sir, uh, with regards to the census? We, uh, Liberals, as Liberals, we have a plan to bring back the long form census. We will go for that. That's our plan. Okay. Uh, go to the Green, please. The Green Party also believes that uh, the long form census should never have been scrapped. It's the basis for research, for uh, planning, for social programs, and, and also historical things. Um, we also believe in evidence-based decision making. We certainly don't agree with the scientific community being silenced, and we think that it's a criminal thing to do. And we really, really want the uh, science, scientists to be giving us the information so that, that uh, we can make, as I said, evidence-based decisions in government. 